Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to show you an easy way to change out the nutrients in your reservoir using one of these. Okay, so um, what I've got is a, it's a battery operated siphon. So you could, uh, and I bought this originally with a kerosene heater that I bought. And, but it actually came with one of these little manual siphon pumps. So I just used it and I never used this for kerosene. And I, I thought it'd be great for um, siphoning out of this 27 gallon tote because normally like when I change out nutrients, if it's a smaller container like a five gallon bucket, I'll just swap it with another five gallon bucket that has fresh nutrients. Just lift the lid off of the old one, set it into the new one. Or I could just dump it out. But with a larger container like this, it's not as easy to do, especially with a large plant on top. This also, it just takes um, two diesel batteries. Just two of these. Um, and these are Energizer batteries that I've had, but I've actually found that Amazon has really good deals on batteries, so I'll put a link to those in the description. And this was, um, I found a comparable, I think it's pretty much the exact same model, Amazon. Even though I got this at Lowe's, but I'll put a link to it. But there's some other ones you could look at that, um, that may, you may find a better deal on. But this actually um, works very well for this purpose. Okay, so this is the plant. It's a Chinense pepper, and uh, I've got it in this 27 gallon tote here. And the nutrients um, are down to about two, three inches in the bottom. So instead of filling it with fresh, I want to get the old nutrients out. So I'm going to, to siphon them out first into a bucket and then pour fresh nutrients in. So here's a closer view of the nutrients. So the way I'm going to do this is set a five gallon bucket, put uh, this, the blunt end into the part I'm draining out, and this end into the bucket. And then there's a switch. I'll switch that on. And that's it. And just let it run until it drains it all out. Now, if I had an extra spare bucket handy, I could just, when this is getting full, I could just switch it to that one. But probably, I don't have an extra one, so I'm just going to switch it off, empty this, bring it back. So I probably, uh, probably got to get most of it. So it's already near the bottom. So just take that as a lesson. You should probably hang on to it. <laughs> it's draining. And that's as low as it'll go. I could um, I could um, have someone to help me tilt it up and then drain from the corner get the last little bit out. But that's should be, be fine for what I'm doing. And I'm just going to empty this out and pour the new nutrients back in. And it'll be all set for about another month. Yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up and turn the pump back on and show you that. Got 15 gallons back in, pump's running, and uh, this plant should be good for a while now. So I just need to pull the lid back up and let it go and it's probably good for another month or three weeks at least. So yeah, that's a very good tool for this. It's real easy to do and I um, just wanted to share that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.